So here's a quick video from my friends and fellow teachers, Edna and Susan, who are designing tiny houses with their classes. And I want to show them how to do some image scaling with Onshape. So here we go. So I downloaded a couple of images off the uh, internet uh, that had some dimensions on it. And uh, well, as you'll see, it's, it's hard to find good images. So let's, let's first of all create a sketch. Okay, and I'm going to just hide the front window, hide the right window, so I'm living on the top window. I can orient here to the top. I can create a sketch, and I want my top plane to be the to be the sketch plane. So that's number one. Number two, I want to import those images. So I'm going to click on the Insert tab here, go to Import. And the first one I want to do is this poster size, which seemed to be like pretty straightforward, but it turns out it's pretty crappy. So I've just downloaded it. I can close that window and it's here, but how do I get it in? So I created the sketch and now when I do that, I can come to insert image and then insert image. And now it wants me to draw a picture. Oops, sorry, I have to pick the, pick the picture. I want the, the poster image and I'm just going to draw a picture here. It doesn't matter how big it is. All right, and then if we zoom in, we can see that this large poster is 24 by 36 inches or 61 by uh, 91 centimeters. So at that point, I need to come up here to the hamburger and figure out what my workspace units are. I usually work in millimeters because I'm doing mostly 3D design and laser design. But here, millimeters are probably not what we want. We, let's, let's choose inches here. Okay, so let's use the big one, inches. So we choose inches, boom. I have to get back into the sketch. All right, and now I want to scale this picture so that this dimension is 36 and this dimension is 24 inches. So one way to do that is to choose the line. We're going to choose a construction line. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in and kind of guess where 36 inches may be. And I'm going to zoom in here. Again, if you don't use a mouse, shame on you. You really need a mouse for this kind of stuff. So I'm going to escape the line either by pressing the escape key or right clicking and escape the line there. All right, so now I have a little construction line there over the 36 inch dimension. So I'm going to click on this dimension. I'm going to click here. Okay, and um, in reality, what I drew was 1.6 inches, and I'm going to scale that up to 36. I'm just going to type 36, hit enter, and now boom, my image is now huge and it's scaled. Um, and you could be done there. However, I really, uh, you know, encourage you to do uh, idiot tests and let's do the scale here along the top edge and it better be 24 inches and i think you may not be surprised it is off the internet actually you know so again i'm going to escape the line here choose dimension tool and then boom we can see that we're off by by quite a bit three inches here 3.4 inches over 24 inches okay and so i think this is just a kind of a, a ballpark you know representation and they're not meaning to be very very accurate that said, I really had a hard time finding images that were consistent across all dimensions. But let's let's just, for giggles, let's just look at this guy down here. So this should be 11 inches across. So let's just click here, and I'm going to drag here, escape the line, and do a dimension. And we see that it's 12 inches, not 11 inches. So, yeah, you know, you kind of get the idea from this, but... Please note that whenever you grab something that you did not create yourself, you should really check it to make sure. And obviously, these are not exactly what they say they are. I believe the numbers, but I don't believe the, the images. Okay, so I'm going to be done with that. And that's probably all you might need to continue. But I just want to show you one more thing here. And I'm going to make a new sketch. Okay, again, I want to choose the top plane. And I'm going to insert a new image the room scaling image so i did this bathroom and a few of the dimensions were correct but most of them were not so here i found one that that seemed to be a better draft image okay so i've uploaded that it's imported and now like before i need to go to inside my sketch i need to create uh, insert image and we're going to insert this image here and i want to do a uh, the room scale so again it doesn't matter how big you draw I'm going to use my construction line. I'm going to zoom in here. Now these are more, you know, a little bit fancier. Um, and so you, you might have some belief that this is actually a, a better representation of the actual dimensions. Okay, it's easy to tell where it stops and ends. Escape the line here, grab the dimension tool. Now here, 
This number, 7,300, it's a weird dimension for this country, for sure, and in the United States. Um, I'm just going to save the sketch. We need to change our dimensions here to millimeters. Workspace units, go back to my original millimeter. I can't imagine too many people using millimeters to design houses, but there you go. Inside sketch two, we're going to open that up again. Choose dimension. Click, and now... Um, we want to set this to 7,300 millimeters, hit enter, and now, whoa, what happened to it? There it is, way down there. I'm just going to grab the transform tool, just highlight everything, and I'm just going to move it up so we can, we can see a little bit closely. And this makes sense, right? This is a poster, and this is a room, and so that's what a poster might look like on the floor, and it, and it seems to make some sense. So 7,300. Let's see if this is a good, a, a good dimension here. So I'm going to choose line once again, click on this, and here I'm just confirming that my, that my dimensions are correct. Okay? Escape the line, grab the dimension tool, and it should be really close. Oh my gosh, look at that. Within, within eight-tenths of a millimeter, that this drawing is correct. That looks pretty good. Okay, and if we want to just test out again, maybe one more, just for, just to make sure, you know, and do a little, little idiot test. Boom, boom. This better be around three thousand. You know, I can zoom in though. There, escape the line dimension tool. Wow, even better. Okay, so I have pretty high confidence. I don't have to keep going. I have high confidence in whoever made this was pretty good. I also want to show you something you can do now that you've got it scaled to the, to the right dimensions. We can make the walls, and this may not be how I would do it, but if you wanted to do it quickly, you know, uh, you could do it this way. So I'm, I've just grabbed the rectangle tool. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm just going to make a bunch of little rectangles, and I'm going to try to get my lines lined up just so. And you can see here we can change those. I'm going to grab another rectangle. Zoom on down here. And I want to line up this right edge here and this bottom edge like so. Again, I'm going to show you how you can, you can change those. Okay. And then maybe I'll just do, well, I'll, you know, what the heck. I'll do one more. I'll be quiet and see if I can't speed up this part of the video. All right, now I put rectangles on all the walls, and now I can extrude each one. What a lot of people will do here is they will come in here with the trim tool, and they will make this one solid piece. For example, they'll come and they'll just kill that little guy, and they'll kill this guy, and so on and so on and so on. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of that because then it makes it hard to adjust all the little pieces if you ever want to make, make adjustments. So I'm going to undo that and undo that and live with my squares, just my little rectangles there. I'm gonna save the sketch, and then I'm gonna to go to extrude, okay? And here, I'm gonna right click with my mouse, and I'm gonna kind of move around so you can sort of see what's happening. So now if I click on this, it's gonna extrude it 25 millimeters. And we're using millimeters because that is, remember we went up here and that's the base unit for this, for this drawing, but you know, I don't know what the typical height of a room is in millimeters, but I do know it's eight feet. And with on shape, you can just type eight FT, eight feet. Okay. And when I hit enter, it's going to make that be eight feet long. And if I wanted to find the dimension of that, for example, I can click here and it, and it tells me what the length is in millimeters, but I entered it in feet. Okay, so let's go back into, into sketch number two. And sketch number two is hidden, if you see here. Once, once you extrude a piece of the sketch, the sketch is hidden. I can unhide it just by clicking that guy, and I can see them again. So I'm going to go back into extrude one, and I'm just going to keep extruding all these different faces. I have one face here, and let's do another face, and then let's do another face. I have to click on the inside, and now I'm going to kind of rotate around, click on that guy, that guy, that guy. And again, just rotating around. And now, boom, now I've got my model. I can save the extrude. Okay. And now at this point, I probably don't need the sketch. I can hide it again. And those are my interior walls. Again, you may be done at that point, but look what we can do. 
Look how easy it is inside of uh, Onshape with sketch number two. We can go grab dimension tool and I can dimension this, this box. Remember, it's a rectangle. So my guess is it's not this dimension, but probably more like 1200 millimeters. Okay. And this guy here is probably more like 300. So I can just dimension each tool and you can see how that box then shrinks. Okay. Same is true for this rectangle. This is probably going to be 6,200. And you can see they just shrink up a little bit. And maybe this dimension down here is probably 200. And you can see tweak, it just tweaks a little bit. Okay. And you can keep going around and around until everything is tweaked and everything is just, just like you want it. And it will automatically change the dimensions. So there you go, Edna and Susan. I hope that was, you know, showed you how you can maybe use Onshape to grab a, a picture that the students might have drawn, scale it to the right dimensions in a CAD program, and then quickly make the walls. All right, that's it for the day. Y'all have a good day. See you, see you later. Bye.